Hi, this is Megan Keen from Avid Artist Relations, and I am here at IBC 2010 in Amsterdam. And I'm here with editor Christine Wolf, who just presented on our main stage. Christine is an editor uh, from the White House in Chicago. How did the presentation go, Christine? Uh, it, went, it went good. Yeah, it was a nice conversation. I, I, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> what were some of the, uh, the things that you guys discussed? Um, we talked about um, the digital SLR workflow, um, my experience with that. Uh, I've worked with that a lot this summer, actually, and how we're seeing more jobs shot on red, 5D, 7D cameras, and how it's kind of changing our workflow. And so you're not only a commercial editor, which is generally what is associated with the White House, but you also uh, have recently edited a documentary feature. So what's the difference between jumping between commercial work and documentary feature work? Um, 30 seconds versus 96 minutes. <laughs> um, no, but uh, it's just different challenges. I mean, they both boil down to storytelling, um, but the documentary definitely takes a lot more time and, and work um, and a lot more footage. I had like 120 hours. 120 hours of footage to go through versus like maybe 15 you yeah. know um, so uh, yeah it's just basically bigger scope of a project. So. And so talking about the DSLRs in red and stuff have you seen um, an influx in that in the commercial work that you're doing? Yeah I've seen the, uh, in the past year we see more and more um, jobs coming in shot on the red um, primarily red but 5D and 7D in the last six months have just you know we've seen a lot of jobs come in on both those so. And having checked out um, MC5 how do you think that that'll sort of change the game in terms of working with those DSLRs? I think it'll make it a lot easier on us. Um, in the past we've had to spend a lot of time transcoding footage to get it um, to the appropriate you know frame rate or, or whatever specs we need to, to ingest in our project so now with the Avid media access tool um, I think it'll simplify things a lot where we can just import our footage um, like right away you know um, so we might have to do still some transcoding but it'll be a lot more sim simplified than this. and talking about IBC in general you said that it was sort of sensory overload walking <laughs> around what were some of the coolest things that you've seen um, gosh yeah it's totally sen sensory overload um, I'm still taking it all in <laughs> I haven't seen it all so it's too soon to say but um, yeah, I'm not sure yet. Well, good. You have a couple more days to check it out. So, all right. From IBC 2010, thanks for watching.